In this video, you will learn about the User Views tool, which enables you to create customized views of the Control-M user interface. There are different users and roles in an organization using Control-M. Each has a different perspective and needs of the enterprise workload. Tailoring the UI benefits the users as it helps them to focus on their specific tasks. User views provide granular control of the UI by restricting what each user sees and therefore can use. An administrator can customize the UI based on user roles and permissions and assign them accordingly. Let's look at the user views profiles that are already defined for you. As you can see, Control M provides you with profiles that are based on roles. The full view profile is the default profile. You cannot edit or delete this profile. Let's look more closely at one of the profiles. In this case, we are going to look at the Developer View, or SAP, profile. Duplicate the sample profile and give it a new name. In this case, we are going to call it Developer View SAP. As you can see, the user view is divided by domains. You can select which domains are visible. In this case, the developer only needs the planning, monitoring, alerts, and configuration domains to accomplish his or her tasks. Let's expand the planning domain. This developer can perform all actions in the planning domain. However, since this developer works only with SAP jobs, we can limit the job type creation to jobs relevant to SAP. Let's look at another profile, the business user view. Business users usually monitor the Control M processes, want to view alerts related to the processes, and access configuration settings. So this profile allows them to only view the domains and actions related to their area in Control M. Let's assume you want business users to be able to monitor jobs and perform monitoring actions when problems occur in a job run. However, you do not want the business user to edit a job's attributes and parameters. In the Job Actions section, you can deselect the Edit Job option. This prevents a business user from making changes to the job's definitions. After you create the user view, it needs to be assigned in Control Configuration Manager. In the Authorizations window, we are going to assign the user view to the business user role. Select the business user role and click Update Role Authorizations. In the Site Standards tab, User Views section, add the business user view and assign it a browse access level. Once assigned, the user view will automatically apply to all users of the role and can be viewed in the Preferences menu. This concludes our User Views video. Thank you for watching.